don't y'all love all these dresses? Uh, listen, can everybody take their seats? I've got a big shocker for my girls. We need to shake it up. I need some, some fresh meat. I've been working with Alexis for a few weeks, but the rest of the girls, they haven't met her yet. She's a serious contender for Miss Georgia. The winner is Alexis. <laughs> I want to introduce to you the new pageant place clients, Jatisa and Alexis. <laughs> uh, I think my girls were like, what the? I asked them to come on board. Alexis is going to make her journey, and I do believe you can be Miss mm. Georgia one day. I do. Uh, Alexis wears them short dresses and them long nine-inch heels. Y'all have a seat. We're going to do this thing, so y'all need to be sweet and nice to them. Don't roll your eyes, Lee. I couldn't tell which was really the mom and which was the daughter. They look like very extravagant women and so thin. Wow. So that brings me to my next pageant. Oh, yes. It's a biggie. Attached to this crown is a very lucrative huh? modeling contract. <gasps> <laughs> it's Miss Teen Dream USA. Not only is it a crown, but it's a career attached to it. And I want one of my girls to win. This ain't just a crown. This is money. So if you want this opportunity, you've got to work. Being a mama has always been one of my dreams. They're just so elegant and they travel the world. I just really want to be a model. And there is a second piece of this pageant. I'm so excited. There is a Ms. division. <gasps> So if you want your daughter to compete in this pageant and compete for this modeling contract, then every single mom in this room has to compete in the pageant. It. Oh my God. Really? It's easy for us as moms to put this pressure and put all this on our children, but we do not understand what they go through. Oh, I want mama to do it. I want her to do it. You gonna do it? Oh, you doing it. I'm, I love you, but you doing it. You gonna see what I go through. Amen. I felt like, oh, Lord, help us all. You do it every single week with your daughters. It's time for you to learn to walk a mile in their shoes. Amen. Okay? Oh. Deb, you it's time it. to pull out the heels, baby. Oh, yeah. I'll dust them off. <laughs> I've done several pageants growing up. I loved it. So I really look forward to doing this with my daughter. Kelly, what about you? Y'all better get me that Scarlett O'Hare ball gown dress something. Are you in? I guess so. Lee, are you in? I'd kill for my child, and this is going to kill me. OK. Tatisa, no brainer. That's a good duo right there. Yes, yes. You can't do it. Come on, You don't think you can beat your mama? <laughs> Being the child of the most beautiful woman in the world is not easy sometimes. And I feel like whenever the focus is supposed to be on me, my mother always has to steal it. She doesn't want me to do it. Do you want to do it? Every girl has desire to wear the crown. Come on now. Tatisa, are you in? Yes. Angie, are you in? No. Really, Angie? I am not You would doing really it. do that to that child? I don't care. I told you, uh-uh. You really no. would not get on stage and just look pretty for a few minutes to not let your daughter come in. I have a problem with that. The thought of me prancing around on a stage, uh-uh, not happening. I see myself in the mirror, it's not a pretty sight. You have told me before you will lick the floor for your daughter to win a crown. <laughs> Time to lick. Not to win a crown, <laughs> no. Not to win a crown, no. How about a modeling contract? How about yes. money? Mara, do you want your mom to be in this pageant so you have a shot to win this modeling contract? Yes. Thank yes. you, Mara. Angie, are you in? No. You're doing uh, it. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is a bigger picture moment here. I'm not doing this to throw you under the bus. I'm not yes, doing this you to... Are. No, I'm not. <laughs> Show your daughter you're not afraid to step out and be yourself. This is not to throw you under the bus. Every single week, I... I I'm pissed. I, every single <laughs> week, I see you push your daughters. Every single week. And I'm telling you, you're fantastic mothers. Now it's time your daughters see you push yourself. OK. Well, the training starts now for all of you. So the mothers and daughters, I need you to go back to hair and makeup, pull yourself together. We're going to an orientation. Go ahead. What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. 
thank you, you for two oh, this is such a blessing oh no it's my pleasure since there is a modeling contract attached to this crown i want to make sure that my girls understand the runway walk it's a different walk than pageant walk i'm so excited i, I brought a gaggle honey i brought the oh. whole team oh my gosh and so i'm having the pageant director show the girls what she expects in the runway walk Runway is a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more explosive. And the music's gonna be a little bit more up-tempo. So please make sure that we have the correct footwear, okay? So just before we go on, I just wanted to mention that we actually have two Miss Georgias here. We have, of course, Kim. Woo! <laughs> and we have Amanda, who is also a former Miss Georgia. Yeah. And this is a former Miss Georgia doing this pageant. Honestly, I just couldn't believe that woman is doing this pageant. You gonna go from Miss USA to Teen Dream? That is just ain't right. What year were you? Um, I was 1985 in the Miss Georgia USA system. All right! Yeah! So I'm an old timer too. <laughs> really? So let me see a runway walk. Who wants to do but a runway Audrey, walk for me? Audrey, Miss, Miss Audrey over here. Yeah? Okay, Carly. Beautiful. Lovely. That's good. Yep, that's it. That's it. Post for three seconds. Wonderful. Well done. Well done. Hey, this girl is in the same age division as me. But Carly is not my competition. I'm not being rude, I'm not being cocky, but my hook is my personality, and that's why I'm gonna win. I have a, I'm, I'd like Alexis if you don't mind. Yes. Take your time, girl. Beautiful. Okay. I love it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Pull the skirt down. That's Thank it. you. That's it. <laughs> well done. Okay. Well done. That is hot. That yes. is hot. Mother and daughter now. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right. Oh yeah, Alexis and Tatisa. They got this thing in the bag. All my girls did. Lovely, lovely. Okay, go, Kelly. Go. Oh. 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 go, baby girls. <laughs> Mom took it. Mom oh, took it. Mom. Well, you got the good shoes. I got the. Oh. Good. I'll switch shoes. My mom definitely gets on my nerves. She says it's in the shoes. <laughs> she goes on my nerves a lot. Carly and Amanda. All right. Yeah. Go for it. Nice. Nice. French turn. Wow. Nice, ladies. Well done. I will be all to They got potential, girl. Yep. Fantastic. Fantastic. Listen, don't get me wrong, I believe in my girls, but I'll be honest with you, Amanda and Carly are tough competition. This is a really special pageant because one of Atlanta's biggest model agencies are gonna be given a year modeling contract will just be an incredible opportunity for you guys. How much oh. money? How much money? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Oh no. God, help me Jesus. <laughs> I love that Addison had an unfiltered personality in the beginning. I just had that personality that makes it pop. Like, it's like, what? I love her. Money. You don't money get, you get paid. You're to do getting that, opportunity. Right? That's right. Opportunity. But now that she's got a few wins under her belt, she's getting a little too big for her britches. I'm proud of you, Addison. What did you learn from taking the photo? That I look good. <laughs> look at my moneymaker, then look at whatever she is. Addison, don't be going to getting all cocky. She needs to back the attitude up a little bit. I have had a wonderful afternoon getting to know you guys, and I hope you've had a great time, and cannot wait to see you all on Saturday. Good luck, ladies. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I know why you're afraid to get on stage and do that. She's not doing the pageant, Angie, so don't even try and know your game. I think we all know who the ringer is in this category. I mean, Satisse is the one to beat. I've already told you a hundred times, I'm not wearing a dress. That's not a reason. I did pageants years ago, many pageants. I've been there, 
I've had shoes, I've had the crown, I've had the banner, but I'm 41 years old. I would feel like such an idiot standing on stage. I'm a has-been. I have short, spiky hair, and my butt's fat, and my boobs are saggy. Any other reasons you want to know? Don't you want me to win? Yeah, I want you to win. Then do it. If you're not in it, I'm not in it. You really want me to yes. do this? Yes. I don't understand why mama's making such a big deal out of this. I think my mama is beautiful, and doing pageants will give my mama self-confidence. The only thing you'll be losing is the modeling contract. That's the thing I don't want to lose. Come here. What is it? I want to do the pageant. Mara really believes that this modeling contract is a huge opportunity for her. And this is one of the hardest decisions that I've ever made because I don't tell her no often. And we're a team. You know that. I know that. Can we be a hair and makeup team? <laughs> I feel really terrible about saying no to Mara. It's really, really hard for me. But I, I just can't do this. What is the most important thing about the pageant? The interview. Of course, you know, the interview's the biggest thing. It wins you every time. You've got the great interview. You can take it all. You should be able to answer any question at all. You ain't got but two minutes max to work that runway and answer that question. It's your responsibility to make people know about you. The moms, normally they're just sitting in the cheap seats. You know, they're just watching their onlookers, and it's easy to judge their daughters and say, I can't believe you don't know how to answer that question. And, and I wanted the moms to experience it too. Let's see how these moms can think on their feet. Kelly, do you think women can handle a career and a family? I definitely think that women can handle a career and a family. I think it helps them, you know, show where they're, they stand. Because coming from a single mother of two, I think it's, you know, I think it helps them, you know. Ask me the question. Do you think women can handle a career and a family? Pretend I'm Kelly. Not only do I think that we can handle a career and a family, for me, I have to handle it. I have two kids, they eat, have lights and have shoes on their feet for school because I have a career. So yes, in today's times, and for my case personally, I gotta work. Yeah, I like hers better. Woo! Make it personal. This is your point of view. The answers have gotta come from the heart and they've got to come from a place that's authentic, that says something other than such as, and such as, and such as. Deb, what is your message to other women? My message to other women would be that not just to focus on your physical appearance. I get Barbie all the time everywhere I go, but I really think it's what matters on the inside. <gasps> Boring. To Tisa. <laughs> what charity are you supporting this afternoon, to Tisa? The uh, uh, Trans Transplant Association. I love my mom, but I worked hard to be with Kim. I don't want to compete against my mother, point blank period, because she's beautiful. My mom has singing. Singing, I wish I could sing, but I can't. That's hers, don't take modeling from me. My husband is a heart transplant patient, and I know what they go through and the medication and the procedures, and it's a wonderful foundation. It saves many lives. That was beautiful. Listen, you do this, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is your closer. It saves many lives, and it saved his. Okay. And then you've got and Kim agreed that it's affected everybody's yes. family somehow. Yes, bingo, bingo. So I want you guys to go home. I want you to prepare. I want the moms to do the same. Prepare each other. You can be there for each other. And it's too bad Angie and Mara are missing out. But I got my Miss winner and my Ms. winner right in here. I believe that, okay? But most of all, I just love seeing the smiles on their faces. Holly Vogel. She just killed it. I cannot lie. That girl's got talent. I'm freaking out right now. All right, come on, folks. Gotta find me a dress. Y'all come on in. After working the moms through the interview, I sent Allison and all the girls to the dress shop. The shoe's on the other foot today. 
I want the moms to see just how hard it can be to find that perfect outfit. I want the moms to feel what these girls feel. Daughters help your mothers. They're always supporting you. Your turn to support them. Make it you, make it your own. Something that shows your personality and something that's really pops. Y'all know me, I love the flare and pop. Now, are we allowed to have slits since we're women? Oh, gosh, I no. think a slit is good, but I'm with Hannah now. Let's do an appropriate slit. Okay. Let's not have it slit up to our... Oh, no, no. Okay, let's okay. not do the slit to the hip. I have a question. Yes? I'm just looking around, and everything is small. I know that my body's not gonna fit in this. Cover certain parts of my body that I would like to be covered. As long as, if it's not big, I'm good. Really? I mean, did she really just say that? Okay, get to it, let's do it. Okay, what size is that? This is a zero. Oh my God, what size is that? I don't know, and don't even be saying it. I've never seen my mom in a dress. She won't even wear one to church, and that should tell you something. Can you wear a 12? Um, I'll try it. Oh, I love red. Red is a power color. No salsa Barbie, uh-uh. Mommy, no, that's not for you. Okay, okay. I don't know if I'm too crazy well, about that. Well, I will. Might look better. Well, let me just see that other one again. And this is the thing, you got to remember, there's some competition. Who? Hey. Um, I'm kind of worried a little bit because Addison seems pretty confident, but watching that girl Carly do her modeling and do her runway walk, I, I thought she did very well. I'd worry if she was something, but she ain't nothing. Well, I mean, she did pretty good whenever they were doing the practicing and stuff. Carly, she's, uh, I'm sorry, but she's, she's not ugly, but she's not like, oh my God. She's decent. She's extra. Don't worry about her. Okay, when I walk out there, runway and the pageant walk, I want them to gasp for air. Oh, what is that? That's what I want to happen. I hate shopping with my mom, especially for this pageant. What's, what size is this? What size is that? One of the reasons I really wanted to do pageants is because my mom doesn't do pageants. This was gonna be my thing, not my mom's thing. It's not fair. We gotta find the right dress, because I wanna win. Am I being a baby because I wanna win? Mm, you're just annoying me. Oh yeah, I think we have judged me as quite not a family of four tent, but maybe a little smaller of a tent. That's too tight. What was that? What do you think? And uh, mommy. I can see your boob. All it is is hanging out. Yeah. All right, we'll practice the walk. You ready? I think we all know who the ringer is in this category. I mean, Tatis is the one to beat. I mean, she's got us all beat in the whole body category deal, so I guess we got to shine in every other way possible. And you got to remember, too, we got on-stage questions. Yes, and I am not dingy. No. I'm quick on my feet. Everybody might think you're a dumb bum, but you're really not. I like to fool them. <laughs> hey, Curly. Hey. Can you find some stuff? Yeah. Good, good. I'm a little worried. There's definitely some kind of competition between Alexis and her mother, Tatisa. I can see that Alexis is struggling a little bit with the fact that her mama is doing this pageant. How do you feel about your hot mama competing in this, really, Alexis? I mean, it's just my mom, so it doesn't really... You're used to it. Yeah, it doesn't really bother me anymore. She's just being her, that's what she does. Girl, come on. You just said anymore. You really feel like she's not in competition with you. I, mean, I don't feel but like she cannot... in your shadow. Okay. I don't feel like you really mean that. Yeah. I feel for you in the fact that I have lived in that shadow. I always say is my time will come because we all... Well, what I'm trying to say, Lex, is your time is now. This is your time. This is your moment to rise to the cream of the crop. And girl, you're doing it. I just want to make sure that Alexis isn't dimming her own light for this pageant just because her mom is taking the stage too. That's hard on her as a teenager, as an 18-year-old teenager, that's hard, hard stuff. It's important for Alexis to grab every bit of that limelight right now. Don't live in your mother's shadow, Alexis. You're not your mother. Angie, please do this for me. It's just you and I, we can have fun doing this. Come on. This is not fun. Come on, Angie. Hello. Oh, come on in, Kim. What's going on? Your mom, a crackhead, <laughs> trying to make me answer some <laughs> on-stage questions. She thinks I'm going to do this stupid pageant you're trying to tell me to do. Well, you know what? When I saw you bawling about this, it tore me up, because I know why you're afraid to get on stage and do that. Because I'm a tight 12 and a loose 14 myself. So I get it. Angie's scared because of her size, bottom line. 
Basically, she's insecure about the way she looks. I just need you to listen to me. I think this is beneath me. No, you do not think this is beneath you. You don't think you can win. That's why you're not doing it. I don't care about winning. Lie. I promise. Oh, uh, God. For the no. love of God, that is the biggest honking okay. lie. My point for you being in the pageant is it's not about what you look like because that's all you care about about Mara is how she looks. There is more to this than looks. Okay, if that's all I care about, then why did I bring Mar to you? You brought her to win. I brought her to you to coach her inside. Thank you. Then you'll do this pageant. There ain't no way I'm going back on my... I am a woman. If nothing else, I'm a woman of my word. As much as I want to let little Mar do this, if Angie don't do the pageant, she's out. Trust me. Don't show your child that just because you've got a few pounds on your butt, in a few years on your eyes that you can't stand up and complete this and do this. Amen. You will show her Amen. more doing this Good. than you will ever show her by putting a hairpiece on and set eyelashes, I promise you. Now, what you gonna say to that, girl? Lexus, I had other earrings. Oh, wait, I gotta get my shoes! You think managing them girls are hard? You got no clue. Managing these moms is like herding a bunch of cats. You can't. your face this way. Tatisa, you're next. It's pageant day and it's gonna be complete chaos. In this pageant, we'll be doing their runway walk, evening wear, and the all-important interview. Not to mention the modeling contract that's on the line. I mean, this thing is gonna be nuts. Me and Mom and Al gotta be on top of our game. I texted Angie last night and she's still sitting up. I don't think she's gonna change her mind. When I talked to Angie, I was just hoping maybe she would change her mind. Maybe she would see that it's not that big of a deal. But Angie said no. Where's her earrings? She has no earrings, no studs. You have to go in and be yourself, Addie. But we have to refine it just a little bit in the interview process. For pageants, Mom, you know what I'm saying. I feel great. I got this. I don't know why Mom was making me practice. And this girl, Carly, she is nothing to me. So they need to put a shirt to the up. What time is it? Allison, get me an ETA. Hey! Hey! Who needs help? Yes! We all need help. Of course, I was not shocked that Angie showed up, do some hair and makeup. Oh, your hair is a hot mess, girl. Angie's smart. She's slick. You know, she's trying to mastermind some plan to get Mar to do the pageant. I'm not letting her do it unless she's in the pageant. Unless Angie's in the pageant, Mar's not doing it, period. She's not doing the pageant, Angie. So don't even try. I know your game. I know your game. You slip in thinking you, she's, you're going to slip her on the stage. You're not. I'm heartbroken for Mara not competing today. It's just not right. You're not going to be out there with me. It's just not. It's not fair. Sorry. I hate that your mom is so selfish. She can't do it. It was tearing me up seeing Mara pounding about not being able to do the pageant. But I don't, I mean, I just, I can't. That child's still begging me to do the pageant. And your point is? You could have conquered this pageant, Angie. We want Angie to be with us. We wanted her to be a part of it. She was like, nope, negative ain't happening. And I said, my gosh, why? Look at us, look at me and Lee. We're not a size zero. You gonna let Mara just sit back all because you are too vain? And I said it, vain. But girl, let me tell you something. When I competed in my pageant years, I looked good. You look good now. And I won. You look good now. You do look good and now. if I was prepared for a pageant, you could better bet I'd be carrying me a crown home. Well, why don't you but, put your money where your mouth is then? I said when I was in my pageant mode. Today, I'm not. Angie, let me tell you something. There is nobody that I respect more. And if anybody can do this today, you can. I know what kind of woman you are. Well, I don't have anything here unless you want me to walk out in this. You're saying to me right now that you'll do the pageant if you have something to wear. If you have something that fits me so that Mara can compete, I'll do the pageant. I have something she can wear. I have it. 
Go get it. I knew that when it came down to it, that Angie was going to do this pageant. So what do I do as a good person that I am? I go out and I pick out Angie classy outfits, just in case. Do you like it, Angie? I love it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew Angie would do it. She just needed a little push or shove off the cliff. There are three different age categories in this pageant. 11 to 15, 16 to 19, and 35 to 55. Make sure you don't talk too fast. Make sure you pronounce your head, okay? I'm ready. The girls are going first, and the moms are going last. And I'm going to tell y'all, this is going to be a real interesting pageant. Put your hands together and welcome Addison. You have a number of odd hobbies, but what's the one you most enjoy? I would have to say hunting. Because two weeks ago, me and my daddy went hunting and I shot two bucks. Do y'all not know how hard it is to kill one? I shot two. And my brother was like, oh my goodness. I was like, yeah, I got it. I am who I am. I don't change for anybody or anything. Put your hands together. <laughs> With Addison, I mean, she's a crowd favorite. And when I looked at the judges, you know, I kind of thought Addison had the best personality in the bag. Once you get to know me, you see that I'm actually a very loquacious and exciting person to be around. I don't know what it means, but it means something good. But most of all, you get to see how happy they are. And I just love seeing the smiles on their faces. Mm -hmm. She just killed it. I cannot lie. That girl's got talent. She's poised. She's confident. She's competition. Thank you. Anybody see my pink brush? Uh, last night, I'm very nervous. I only had probably about half the time to get ready. I've got to hurry up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on stage, Mara. She looks like a wind girl. Um, the dress has been encrusted with diamantes and sequins. She's wearing it with contrasting jewelry and photographs. I'm so proud of Mara right now. She just manipulated that stage up and down the runway. She really turned it on. You are a lady that has a variety of hobbies. Tell me about the one that you most love. The hobby that I like the most would have to be dance because I can just express myself and how I feel and let everything go and no matter where I am, I'm just being me. <laughs> I believe every child deserves a chance to grow into a prosperous person. Work, work it, work it, work it. This modeling contract has upped the stakes by a thousand. It's no longer just Alexis wants to win, Alexis is being Alexis. This is Alexis's future, what she's dreamed about all her life. That looked damn good. When Alexis walked down that runway, she looked like a supermodel. She looked like the most beautiful supermodel I've ever seen. Good. Deb, your boobs are hanging out of this dress. Now it's time to get the moms ready for their portion of the pageant. And I am telling you, you think managing them girls are hard? You got no clue. Managing these moms is like herding a bunch of cats. You can't. Your daughter, she's too cute. She really thank amazing. Thank you so much. Well, one of the things, though, yes. she is so petite right. that. Yes. Have you thought about letting her wear a little higher heel? So we're all getting ready, and all of a sudden, former Miss Georgia came over to me and is giving me advice about Hannah. It made me a little uncomfortable. Her, her hair and makeup, I think more so, you know, not as much. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not that I'm being a pageant snob. Maybe I am, but I'm... Come on. 
give the girl a break. She just needs the polish. Okay. If she could just get the polish, it should okay. be amazing. I'm thank excited. You. I'm excited. Hey, thank you, Amanda. Absolutely. Like, what is she? The pageant director man? Well, I don't know. Lexi, I had other earrings. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, wait, I gotta get my shoes. Get this hair going. Get this hair going. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hannah, wait. Well, I'm hot right now. At this point, I'm panicking. I'm just like, I don't know what it's going to look like when I hit that runway. Put your hands together and welcome our contestants in the age range of 35 to 55. Amanda Bogle. That's going to be a run for the money right here. I'm going to tell you that. Oh, so we can do this together. You don't like the choker? Well, will ask him. You look amazing. Take the necklace off. So it's time for me to go on stage, and I'm standing there, and I'm like, oh, Lord, I cannot believe I'm doing this. Welcome on stage, contestant number eight, the very lovely Angie Brooke Collins. I'm so nervous right now. I'm about to freak out. I don't know what to say. I can't hardly breathe. My heart's racing. Ugh. Angie. Welcome on stage, contestant number eight, the very lovely Angie Brooke Collins. I'm scared, I'm afraid, I'm intimidated. I still don't want to do it. All right, just do it, girl. But in the end of the day, I want Mara to know that I'm here to give her what she needs to be successful, not only in pageants, but in life for the rest of her life. Angie. So. Here I go, let's see how this works out. When Angie took the stage, I was like, that's my girl. Once a pageant queen, always a pageant queen. Go, Angie! The judges are eating Angie up. The audience is eating Angie up. I mean, I don't know what, she just had something on stage that you just were like, you rooted for Angie. Walk it out. Angie Brook Collins. I can't believe my mom actually went through with this. She looks so great on stage. I am blown away about how brave my mom is. So tell us which charity would you be representing tonight, my darling? Tonight and forever, I will represent the charity of adoption. My 13-year-old beautiful child was adopted. I, th I couldn't have children, and she's changed my life forever. When Angie was talking about Mara, it was beautiful. It was just beautiful. Angie nailed it. She just nailed her on stage interview. Thank you. And I'm sorry that I questioned you. You are amazing. You are amazing. It had heart. It had soul. It had a I don't give a rip, this is who I am attitude, and that wins every time. I'm sweating. I know, me too. <laughs> I'm sweating for you. I love you. I knew that girl could do it all along. I was so proud. Are you ready for this, Mom? Mama. I have also what? Don't, don't be nervous. What are you nervous? This dress. This dress is really long. You know, this week, I feel like me and my mom have been a little bit more tense to each other. But seeing her so nervous before she goes on stage made me really feel for her because I've been there. Well, thank you very much. Put your hands together once again. I feel like it's going to fall. It's not going to fall. Hold on. We need to turn it a little to the right. OK. One, One two, two, three. three. Seeing her so nervous, I realized she's not just my mom. She's just another scared little girl. It kind of made me see that I've been selfish for telling my mom I didn't want her to do it, the pageant. Are you ready? You got this, Mama. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on stage to Tessa. At that point, I realized I'm always going to be there for my mom, no matter what. To Tessa is wearing a bejeweled evening gown. 
my mom did amazing. She killed the runway, and the outfit looked like a million bucks. I was so proud of my mom out there. Okay, here we go. Miss Teen Dream. 11 to 15. Here we go. There's many crowns to be won in this pageant. You've got a younger division, you've got an older division, and a Mrs. pageant. And there's a modeling contract on the line. So we're gonna take home some crowns tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Personality. It's time to announce the youngest division winners. And I'm feeling real good. I predict Addison will win Best Personality. Put your hands together and welcome. Carly Vogel. I don't understand that. Miss Elegance. Carly Vogel. <laughs> Miss Photogenic. Carly Vogel. Oh my God. It was just ugly. Carly Vogel is taking everything in this pageant. I feel like my worst fears are coming true. And I'm freaking out. I can't take this pressure. I can't. I cannot take this. Carly Vogel. Carly Vogel! I'm freaking out right now. Carly Vogel seems to be taking everything in her age category, which is stressing me out. But winning all those smaller titles doesn't mean you're gonna win the big one. Miss Teen Dream is still up for grabs. My heart was racing, and I could feel the tension in the room. Now, Junior Miss Teen Dream 2014 is... I was so proud of Mara. I was so excited. I was jumping up and down like she had won Miss Georgia or something. <laughs> I'm so excited that I won the Miss Teen Dream. I know my mama didn't want to do this pageant, but she did it for me, and it just proved that she really loves me. Miss Teen Dream 2014, we have six contestants. It's time to announce the Miss Teen Dream for the older girls. And I think my girl Alexis has got this. Miss Evening Wear is Alexis Houston. <laughs> Miss Runway, Alexis Houston. <laughs> Alexis is cleaning up. Every time there's an award, they call her name. Miss Teen Dream 2014 is Alexis Schuster. When Alexis won, I thought Tatisa was gonna jump out of her dress. She wanted Alexis to win so bad, more than she wanted to win herself. So proud of you. Put your hands together once again. Well, Alexis wins everything and I went absolutely nothing. I'm literally standing in the corner of the stage in the dark, basically, which felt awesome. Yay, me. Come on, moms. Now, in the age range of 35 to 55. Go, mama. Miss Runway is. I'm so happy for Alexis. I don't care if I don't win anything. Tatisa Rampage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe that's not true. Thank you. I still, I mean, I, who wants to lose? Miss Personality is... Angie Collins! <laughs> This week, I challenged Angie, and when it boiled down to it, she came through. She didn't wuss out, she took the challenge and succeeded. So this week, I'm Team Angie, all the way. Today, I felt confident in myself for the first time in a long time. Although I didn't need to win that title to know that I was Miss Personality, it felt so good. Okay. If we could have the Miss Teen Dreams on for the modeling contract. When it came to deciding who was going to get the modeling contract, my heart was literally in my throat. So this was a tough choice, you guys. When they started to announce who was going to win the modeling contract, the girls were salivating like a dog that was hungry. And the winner is... It's Alexis Houston. <laughs> Don't you 
think. I'm literally crying at this moment because this is what I've dreamed about all my life. Modeling is what I really, really, really want to do. Wow, go girl. Tonight has been an absolute dream come true. I feel like I've proven to everyone this is my thing. And me and my mom have even gotten closer. Today, with Tatisa and Alexis, I saw the journey. I saw the evolution, not only in motherhood, but I saw it from woman to woman. I am so stinking proud of you. How amazing this is. I've got to say, this has been one of the most amazing pageants I have ever done, strictly because the moms entered as well. You're going on my- Whatever you want to do. Yeah, I want on the wall of fame. You're right, I want on the wall of fame. You can put my picture with your picture on there. Go moms, go girls, go team pageant place. I'm gonna tell you something, oh, all our girls did so well. Oh, I think they, they did, did so awesome. well. They I did, did awesome. Yep. But you know what? And confidence. Yep. I could have won. I could have beat you, I could have beat you, I could have beat all them mothers, but y'all wouldn't let me be in. Well, Allison, I could say the same thing. I could have won. Bottom line is, I could have won it all. Right, sure. I would have beat you. Oh, God. <laughs> and you could win? Really?